y'all welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be talking about how to successfully start your youtube channel in 2020 now i know you want to jump on youtube you want to jump on video or you want to do something to help bring your business more exposure or just to start something new in the new year and if youtube is the idea that you have for that stay tuned because i'm going to give you some great tips that's going to help you do just that now, when you're starting out on YouTube, one of the very first things you need to identify is what you're going to talk about. Now, I know you've heard me say this several times, but you need to create a niche for yourself when you're going into this. Yes, everybody wants to hop on here and be creative and do vlogs and show their life and all that. But if I may be honest, if you don't have an audience built yet, no one pretty much cares about that, okay? People hop on YouTube to get value and to get information. So you need to jump on with your topic of choice and try to create some information around that um, around that topic. I'm not saying that you can't do vlogs at all. What I'm saying is mix the content up. So if you're gonna be talking about gardening and you're just gonna be vlogging about your garden and all that, why not create videos about starting a garden, how to upkeep your garden, how to grow tomatoes, how to grow cucumbers, whatever it is. Start on YouTube with a niche in mind, know exactly what you're going to talk about and provide value to your audience right out of the gate. The next thing you need to do is to optimize your channel. Now, what I mean about that is to fully complete it so that when people land on your channel, they know exactly what it is your channel is going to be about and they can make the decision whether they wanna to subscribe to you or not. So one of the biggest areas I see people miss a huge opportunity is on the about page. On that about page, it's an amazing place for you to put keywords that are related to your channel so that you can be discovered in search. It's a great place for you to just fill out, give a little bit of information about you, what the channel is going to be about. You even can put links over there on that page, links to your other social media channels. If you have a website, you can put that there. But don't forget about that about page. Like It's a great place to allow people to get to know you a little bit better. And then next, you wanna make sure that you have a compelling piece of channel art. So your channel art needs to be clean and concise. So you don't have to go putting all these pictures all over the place, like nobody knows what that is, okay? We simply want to know what this channel is about. So if your channel is about homemaking, gardening, and food, you wanna put something up there that identifies that. So if you are gonna put photos, a few photos, make sure they represent that. Some delicious looking meals, maybe showing you out in the garden picking something, or simply just the words across the top does it for a lot of people. Make sure you fill out that channel art though because that's gonna give you a way to draw people in and make them wanna subscribe. And another area that you wanna make sure that you're completing is create playlists. So once you have a few videos in the arsenal, you wanna create playlists where people can go to those specific playlists and binge watch that content. So if I'm on your channel and I only wanna see your food, put all the food content in a playlist so that I'm not getting served a video after that about washing my clothes, cause that's not what I came to the channel for. And you all know that YouTube loves watch time. YouTube loves watch time. And so when you put things in a playlist, it allows that person to watch videos back to back regarding that same topic that they originally came to your channel for. So you wanna make sure that you're using playlists to your advantage and keeping your content organized and concise for your viewers. That will make them wanna subscribe to you more. And the last thing about optimizing your channel, you wanna make sure that you're filling out your video descriptions really, really well. One of the key pieces to making it on YouTube and being successful is search engine optimization. We all know to be successful on YouTube, you've gotta conquer search and suggested videos. But 
Conquering search is a little bit more easier than conquering suggested. The search means that someone comes on the platform and they are searching for a specific topic and your video shows up to them. So a great way to get your videos ranked in that way is by using search engine optimization. Using those keywords in the description of that video. Tell them what the video is about. Make sure you try to mention other keywords that are related to what that video is about because that way you the YouTube algorithm knows and they can give the video to the right people who are looking for the content that you make. Next, create a content calendar. What exactly is a content calendar? It simply is something where you write down all of the videos that you want to make. Now, one of the biggest things that cause people not to be successful on this platform is consistency. I know you're probably tired of hearing it, but it just is what it is. The YouTube engine likes content. And in order to grow and get YouTube to pick up your videos and show them to people, you are going to have to stay consistent on the platform. One of the ways that I found it so much easier to do that is by creating a content calendar. Now, once I have that content calendar created, all of the ideas that I have is right there for me. On this day, I know I wanna upload this video. On this day, I wanna upload that one. So when I have the ideas already down on paper, then I'm not having to exert additional energy to think about what I want to post today. Because let's be real, that's one of the biggest reasons we fall short. And that's one of the reasons why we don't stay consistent on the platform is because sometimes it's just like, okay, what am I going to upload today? And you find yourself trying to figure out what you're going to upload and you don't figure it out. And you just end up don't um, upload in the video. It, it, it just, it goes all over the place. You know what I'm saying? So when you create a content calendar, it allows you to stay on track, stay on task and already know what you're going to do beforehand. So that's something you don't even have to worry about, right? And then once you create that calendar, you can kind of start outlining those videos and what you're going to talk about and the shots that you're going to get. You can create a shot list and all that good stuff. Um, but I'll talk about that later and I'll go into detail about how to do that. Next, just use the equipment you have. Yes, I know you're stressing about not having a professional camera and not having this perfect tripod. You don't have lights and you don't have all these things to make you look uber professional, but get over that. Pull out your phone, get in front of a window and film the video. You can make the videos better as you go along, but if you don't create anything, no one can discover you. You can't start. Some of your favorite YouTubers have started with freaking laptop cameras, okay? They started with their cell phones. With how these cell phones are these days, these are cameras are amazing on these phones. So whip out your cell phone and just do the video, okay? Um, it doesn't matter. As long as you're creating, you will get better and better and better. And once you can prove your concept and you're seeing some success on the platform, then you can invest in better equipment. But just go ahead and start with what you have and start creating the videos. Yeah, so that brings me to the next tip. It's just start. Stop thinking about all the things you don't know how to do. Stop contemplating and figuring out and, and saying, oh, I'm so shy and I'm scared and the trolls and all this, just start creating videos. Once you start creating those videos and putting them out and seeing what you're doing and something you created is living and people are being inspired by it and you're making other people want to do something and you're helping people, trust me, you will have a confidence that exceeds all of the excuses because that's exactly what it is. Girl, you making excuses. Just start filming the videos and watch how you flourish. In order to be successful on YouTube, you gotta come into this thing with a plan and commit to the process. You might not grow overnight, you might not get 10,000 subscribers tomorrow, but if you continue to show up and put in the effort, you will get the results that you're looking for. So make sure you check out this video right here that will help you get to your first thousand subscribers. I reached my first thousand subscribers within 90 days, and 
this video will help you do the same. Once again, thank you so much for being here and watching my videos. Share this out with someone if you found this useful and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.